Talk with the horse with the black up lips, and today we got Butch Williams in the house. Obviously, your regulars are here Nigel, Simon, and baby Erica, Erica, baby girl. That's what I wanted to say. What's going on, guys? Okay, let's get, let's get straight into it, man. You know, we've been talking a bit offline. The big issue right now, man. All lives matter. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not what I want to say. Sorry, this is not what I want to say. Black lives. Unmute matter. everyone, Wayne. Unmute everyone. Everyone is unmuted. Nigel's still uh, muted. Then he must have muted himself. Yeah, yeah. No, mine. Uh, when the music started, I guess it it it, it automatically muted me. I'm using uh, this this shit from my girl man she does she does a lot of no she does a lot of home office stuff i got the, oh, the headset this guy. Uh, high tech man guys high tech oh, so anyway it ain't, it ain't even like that uh she's girl still muted man what up girl <laughs> <laughs> no no she's muted because uh, <laughs> <man knows. laughs> anyway yeah so uh, right now in america actually no first of all before we start that i got I got a theory, man. I got a theory, and I have to get it off my chest, man. I know we started coronavirus. I know we did it, man. Who did <laughs> you know, it? You know, it's going to start off with something stupid. It was the Nation of Islam. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Think about it. We all have to cover up now. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, no. What? <laughs> no, you think? Look. We all have to cover up because that's what they're doing. Islam, we cover up. Yeah, but uh, we're we're just covering up our noses and mouths, man. They want you to cover your hair and all that shit. You know, that's the. Yeah, well, a lot of people walk around like that now, man. Have you seen? Have you been out lately? Everyone's got hoods on. They got these scarves going around their face. You know what the hell's going on, man? The scarves. I don't know, man. That, that's some. That's some. Uh, some you know, anarchist. You know, I think it's I think it's people that uh, they want to wear they don't want to wear a mask, you know, so they just pull up a like I know a lot of people that have those those masks that double as scarves, you know, and then you just pull it up. Yeah. All right, man. It wasn't really a nation of Islam. I'm just messing around. I know. Anyway. You, you, you just, you're just <laughs> saying some ridiculous shit because it's your show. That that one needed a sound effect. Echo, <laughs> 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 that was funny. <laughs> that was funny, man. Hey, come on, that was funny, man. Just, you guys... it, just, it was like it's like it just it just dropped and like it was, it was I can, you know what? One night, one night, I swear I'm gonna drop the one night. I'm gonna really, it's gonna go click and everyone's gonna laugh soon as I say something stupid, man. So far, I haven't managed to achieve it. That's the all. I'm is, though, you're, you're, the reason, the reason, no, that, dude, the reason, dude, the reason. Dude, dude. Yeah, the reason sorry, that was dude. lame. The reason that was lame is because if you think about it, you says you've all got to cover up. But if you look at uh, what you're relating to, it tends to be women. Women in the in the Muslim faith who have to cover up. The men don't cover up. So that's where your argument was busted. But I'll give you a well. Actually, no. But actually, saying that though, but to be fair, the men have big beards. <laughs> hey, <laughs> come on, <laughs> that's good. Come Dude, on, stop digging. Stop digging. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, All right. No. Anyway, let's get to the most important topic because that's not important. Anyway, coronavirus, coronavirus is yesterday's news. Now we got the race riots. Not the race. It's not even a race riot. Actually, that's wrong. But I think the the media is trying to take it that direction, but it isn't kind of sticking. All right, and so let's put it for what it is. It's the indiscriminate, uh, indiscriminate murder of a, of a, a, a not yet another black man caught on live, well, not live, but caught on camera. And then what we saw as the immediate aftermath of that video coming out was the guy being sacked or the four officers being sacked. And I think what they tried to do there is draw a line under it, which is what they do with a lot of black deaths. And for some reason, and I really believe it's because the death of Armand Aubrey, 
uh, just a week or two before. I think that now that, and then now the death here of George Floyd, it's what's happened here is people have said, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. You haven't just, you know, no, no. no yes, I no, did, man. No, yes, I <laughs> did. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> it's your way to a no man. It's okay. It's okay. We don't want to be seeing I'm, that. I'm, 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 I'm hearing about that happening. I thought it was a miss. Everything just happened. Lying. <laughs> 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 what, man? I'm sorry. What, uh, what I'm, is going I'm, on? Yeah. Now I'm on the toilet, mate. I oh, did you know? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I will meant to have a serious <laughs> conversation about oh, no. something. <laughs> oh my days, no. I mean, oh, that's oh, going to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. You smashed it. You smashed it. <laughs> and I thought I was going to be funny today. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, anyway, well, anyway, let's get back on track, man, because uh, yeah, I know, I know it doesn't. Hey, work. and and you and and please do me a favor. Yeah. Do not, do not, uh, 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 uh yeah. I mean. Don't eliminate that. Don't edit that. <laughs> that ain't going out. We don't, we don't censor nothing. Hey, videos are harder to censor than audio. We don't censor so nothing. I might that's going like to be an outtake. That's going to be an outtake, man. Seriously. That's going to be an oh, intake. Wait, wait, wait. That's be How do I? Wait, <laughs> wait, I'm wow. trying to get my, I'm trying to get my video. Yeah. <laughs> are you sure? Be careful, brother. Are you sure? Make sure, make sure, make sure you're presentable, man. Hey, we don't, we don't want to see your balls on TV. I we got a lady here, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, wait. Hey, wait, wait. Where's the camera? Hey, hold on one Nicole. second. I'm, I'm asking you to start uh, yeah. the camera. Oh, Nicole, 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 Nicole. Well, I'll mute you again. You can sort it out. What's the first subject? Uh, anyway, yeah, so uh, we're we talking was, about... We was, we was, I was saying, yeah, that I, I can't believe I got interrupted on such a serious part. <laughs> I know, I, yeah. I feel like this, we'd have to do this again. No, but basically, I feel that because <laughs> because of um, the death of Armand Aubrey and um, obviously the death of George Floyd, like, in quick succession, I really believe that this is... It's like the black community said, like, enough. You've tried to draw a line under the sun yeah, many yeah. times now. Yeah, sure. You can't do it the way you're doing it like this. And obviously, we've seen what happened, you know, except for the, the riots all around the place. There was protests when, when um, Eric Garner was killed and he actually sparked this whole thing, I can't breathe, because that was his final words when he was pinned yeah, down yeah. to the floor. The guy put him in a chokehold from behind. So when that happened, and then you've seen the other deaths that have followed and this i can't remember I, I should have researched a bit more but the gentleman who was shot in his house by an off, off a, a, a by a policewoman who thought she said who said she thought she was going into her own apartment yeah like, sat on his sofa eating cereal or something and she she shot him now she actually got 10 years for it but the judge actually mm -hmm. hugged her <laughs> you know and uh, it was actually it was her brother wasn't it actually the, the victim's brother or something actually hugged this woman and said they didn't want to see her go down but just death after death after death of of, of young black men or even old black men and you know there's even a lady who was killed in her own house because somebody saw her door open and they thought that she was somebody was broken in but i think she just left the door open because it was a hot evening and the police officer went straight around the back of her house she went to see who it was and looked through the window and he just shot her up i think eight times you know and this is one after another and people can't take this anymore and people are saying look enough you know you and you can see even now probably over the last couple of days on 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 social media how you have got literally the divide you've got the people who will be there saying listen no this this isn't this this isn't uh you know all lives matter or blue lives matter which is the the right wing sort of thing that followed all the police um so it's just it's just context really people had had enough and said you know it's time to sort of mobilize together now and the spillover into violence is literally people being given that power and looking up in the police like you are my absolute enemy now we're not protesting to try and change it you are actually our enemy we are facing down now and i think and I'm, 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 disobedience I'm, I'm, will actually grow i think it will actually grow the violence i don't think it will quell i think it will grow 
I think that is a shame, though, that it's gone to that level. Because when those guys are writing, they're not picking which shops they mash up and which shops they loot. They're doing it to everybody. They're doing it in their own communities. And yeah, I know it's a lot of, there's a lot of anger. The there's a lot of anger there. And, and when, you know, when you've got 100 angry people, man, 100 angry people, that's a force. Turn it to a thousand, that's a bigger force. But <laughs> it's just a shame that that, that that energy, that kind of unity on that level <clears throat> can't be garnered in some way and make damn sure these guys get prosecuted. Even if, you know, I said to someone today, take a dollar off every person of colour in the UK, uh, USA and the UK and say, right, we're going to prosecute these mothers. We're going to make sure that this guy gets a good send off. We're going we're gonna to use this money to lobby for changes in, in law. Start buying off some of these people who have been bought off who keep making decisions against us and, and really take the whole thing and, and make it something. I, I'm just I'm just worried that it will just turn into the only thing that will be remembered in three months' time will be the riots and not George Floyd. And, and you know where the my... problem is with that though, Nigel, and this is mm -hmm. the problem. You're right, and I, I completely agree with you. But um, there's the two sides of it. Obviously, there's that power that people have got now, where you say, mm -hmm. like, when you're talking about frenzied people, we talk, when you're in a frenzy, there's very little control. Yeah. I think when yeah. people smash up one shop and then mash up another shop and then follow 100 people or 1,000 people down the street, all sense and reason goes out. And I think that's yeah. where you're right. About it. Yeah, for real. Oh, you they know, should, they uh, shouldn't do that. Go on. That's a fact, but there's also the situation where you've got you've got like uh, you've got these uh, Antifa people that are joining mm -hmm. the protests specifically to escalate the violence. Yeah. You know, uh, they they caught this guy in Minneapolis. This guy he came in with a with a, 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 a mask. mask on, and he took a hammer and just started. I had a fool, yeah. Those. And this guy ended up. This this guy's a cop. He was a cop. They yeah. it, it, and it's like it's like you got people that are that are deliberately going out and and turning peaceful protests into violent protests so they can say, see, look what those people are doing. The thing yeah. is, what you see in the videos that it's majority. It's not majority black people, obviously. It's yeah. a majority of, like say like white people. Um, so I don't know how they will try and turn the narrative and say yeah it was the black people when you can clearly see that the majority of protesters are actually white so i don't know what they're trying to achieve when that well when they're breaking stuff is that what they're trying to do they're going to say okay well they'll show well, a couple media, of videos the, of black people the media shows what the media shows the media shows the media will show the enemy of the day they'll show you who they'll show you who you're supposed to not not want to approve of Mm. So, yeah. you know, they ain't going to show the white guy who throws the brick, they're going to show the black guy who throws the brick. You know yeah. what I mean? They ain't going to show, they ain't going to show the politician's son. They're going to show the son of the, 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 the gang, the gang man whose dad's in jail and this, that and the other. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, it, it's, it's the narrative, it's, it's unfortunate. We don't control nothing, man. We don't control what we see. We don't control what we're, sh you know, educated with, you know. I, I bet there's more people than George Floyd Floyd died from the police this year. Yeah. Oh, we just many, 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 we just, many more. We, exactly, but we just haven't, we haven't heard about all of them. Um, Butch, uh, just a question, man. We had Obama. We, we had a black president, the most powerful black man probably ever. Over the, <laughs> some of, so I don't know. Menza Musa last week. Over, yeah, over, yeah, over the my man there from last week or some of them Egyptian um, kings. Fair how come we could? How 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 come we couldn't affect the change within? Because this has been going on for years, hasn't it? How come we couldn't affect that change across America? I mean, is his power limited? Is it a case of well, I'm a well, president? Well, there's what? there's several reasons. Um, the I think one of the one of the reasons is because you you had a situation where you had a Democratic president, but his power was limited because the House and the Senate was controlled by Republicans. Mm -hmm. um, Barack Obama was the first president in history who couldn't even exercise his right as president to appoint uh, judges Georgies, yeah. to the federal bench and the Supreme Court uh, because you had the, uh, the Senate whose job it is to approve or disapprove of the uh, judicial nominees 
that are uh, uh, nominated by the president, um, they wouldn't even bring his nominees to the floor for a vote, for a debate. They wouldn't even, you know, and, and uh, that's, that's and another reason why he couldn't really affect any change is because it doesn't make a damn bit of difference who manages the store. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's the owner, the owner of the store. who gets to set the prices yeah. and who gets to set the policy. Yeah. You know, it's like, um, it's like, I don't give a shit who's the manager of my ice cream store because I own all the ice cream. I don't give a damn <laughs> if you're buying chocolate or if you're buying vanilla. It all <laughs> belongs to me. <laughs> you know? and 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 the the what it is is like when you go into burger king and you have a problem and you talk to the manager the manager is there to take the complaints from the customer the manager is there to be a buffer between the customer and the owner you don't see who owns the place. You just see yeah. the guy that's got his face out there yeah. for you to for you to blame when shit yeah. goes wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's true. You know what I mean? Well, with, like, with, with, with America, is that is that specifically Mitch McConnell who was saying that he wouldn't allow any of Obama's picks to go um, go through? Yeah. And I mean, we're talking about highly qualified judges. And if you look now at what's happening, I mean, you probably. We won't be familiar with it, but just to touch on this. I don't want to get too political. But with with, with Trump, what he's done is uh, he's trying to report, uh, put in as many judiciaries as he can, as many uh, Supreme Court judges, as many circuit court judges as he can. That is literally him. Federal, the McConnell federal bench is being flooded right now. Flooded by with conservative, ultra conservative, right wing, white men. And. Yeah. While while Trump while Trump is like going over here and saying, look at look at me, I'm crazy, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. Well, while he while we're watching him say stupid shit, he's appointed like I think over 200 people to the federal bench that are going to be judges for life. There's lifetime appointments, guys. So that was one of the main reasons. Again, like say why why Obama couldn't do it but what i would like to add to that butch is i think the reason why you only you did see change you saw small incremental change going happening but the problem why it wasn't um i think he he, he wasn't able to to really sort of assert himself is because think about it now this guy really is the first black president everything that he says and does is going to be documented it's going to be covered by absolutely everybody i mean yep. this guy wore a tan suit once and he got absolutely murdered by the press and absolutely you somebody, and you get somebody absolutely. like trump who will pull the troops out of North they Syria. they even they yeah. even uh, uh crucified him in the press because he went to a uh uh, uh a uh, hamburger uh, a fast food restaurant and asked for dijon mustard <laughs> on his burger and that was an issue spices and this is what i'm saying it's, it's absolutely crazy. Um, mm. Like I say, without us going too, too political, it is, that was the problem. And I find that, you know, look how easy Trump has found it to enforce his will, to say what he wants to say, to just literally trump the whole situation. He didn't think about the checks and balances, what people think about what him. What? He's breaking the law in yeah, play. on a daily he's basis, a, yeah. violating the Constitution on a daily basis. And as a matter of fact, uh, he's trying to he's trying to set himself up right now to win the election by uh, 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 violating the law. Give you an example. I was looking forward to that example. Hopefully, I'll come back in a second. Um, you guys, do, do you? Well, do you want to add to that? I can side? continue that point. Yeah, because I mean, like, just to, I don't know what point he was going to get on, but I'll talk about one. Is that, I don't know if you know about, there's a lot of voter suppression going on over in the US. So particularly black and um, Hispanic voters, uh, typically from democratic neighborhoods, they're having their votes literally stripped away and they're doing it under like a, a loophole in the law that basically says, uh, basically you could be, uh, if you're somebody with a similar name in two states, 
I don't even know if they go as far as to check your age, we'll just strike one of them off the list. And they don't do this in small numbers. In Georgia, they did it for 340,000, I believe. In Wisconsin, it was over, over 500,000. And this is coming out of very specific neighborhoods. Then when you add that onto the compounding, you've got the compounding effect then of what's called gerrymandering. And gerrymandering is literally, if you have any, uh, I'm going to give you an example, guys, because you're from Birmingham. If you have Birmingham as a whole, that is typically what we would call, uh, I don't know if she's still there, well, say a labor um, Labour voters say the whole, the whole of Birmingham is mainly a Labour, say 65%. Mm. What then the, the say Americans would do in this situation? So, say if that's the Democrats who've got 65% of the vote, they will split districts. So, they'll say Birmingham is no longer Birmingham, or it is, but we're going to break it into certain districts. And they break it's called gerrymandering. So, they will literally break districts into areas that are specific. And it, there has to be a continued line, like a border, but they will actually break it like. Um, so they'll split right. North and South Birmingham, they'll split it with, with and the, the, what they'll do is they'll do it down a very specific line on who votes for who. So mm. if there's a place that is like, say where I live now, which is traditionally a, a labor um, sort of area. Um, and if you go to the other side of Birmingham to Soli Hall, where it's, it's mainly conservative, what yeah. they will do, Birmingham as a whole, they would split the, the line. So we would basically have the majority of voters now being in America, it would be Republican, or here it would be Conservative. No. So they would break it in an area. And then the Labour area, what they do is make sure that it's, it's, it's smaller. And then in it, basically when it's voting time, they would lose the election there because mm -hmm. they'll, they'll pick the two against each other and call it a district. Mm -hmm. So that's what they do. It's called gerrymandering, and it's a, a thing that they do. Dude, very, you're very really well-informed about oh, the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Butcher, yeah. So, so I wanted you to carry on what you were saying before you cut off. Yeah. Uh, well, um, yeah. what they tried to do is they tried to introduce legislation to make uh, make it mandatory mm -hmm. to uh, uh, back up all electronic uh, voting with paper ballots. Mm -hmm. Right. They also tried uh, 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 to make it uh, 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 mandatory to report it if you were offered campaign contributions or uh, help from foreign governments with your with your campaign they've and got saudis involved in doing that now haven't they they've got saudi lobbyists now actually lobbying people in congress yeah in well Senate. exactly and 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 they they wanted uh, uh first of all they wanted to make it mandatory that you have to report it to the fbi and they wanted it to be uh, uh, uh and they wanted it illegal they wanted a, a new law giving teeth to, uh, oh, and no ballot, uh, no electronic uh, ballot boxes are ever allowed to be connected to the internet. Oh, okay. They've got a real problem with this, this ballot thing now in, in America anyway, because we don't really have it so much over here. Um, Butch, where people are doing um, sort of, I think we have um, sort of mail voting and stuff like that, but these electronic ballots, or these electronic votes, or I don't think we do anything like this in the UK. Um, yeah. You know, I, I think if they do, it's going to be more of a new thing. But in America, it's been going on for a long time. There's people who have been voting um, by mail or absent voting, they call it for, for 20 years plus. And in certain states, it's actually the preferred way. So I think you probably would have saw Bush that. Uh, I'm trying to think of the actual state, maybe it's Michigan, where the majority of people vote by, um, by uh, absent voting, they do it by, by um, mail vote. vote. Um, but now Trump's trying to say there's a lot of corruption, there's all these problems with it. With Everybody mail be, voting. Yeah, with, with voting by mail. So you, 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 so you, you say you're voting by... Yeah, so obviously there's, there's a lot of obviously meant to be checks <laughs> involved that? in doing it to make sure that you can't. Um, yeah. Sorry, go on. I said it was BS, man, that they're saying that mail's a way to hack mails in And I'm no, sorry, no, 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 I, my internet, I keep getting thrown out of the internet. I don't know what's going on. You pay your bill, man. Well, <laughs> no, no I think, I think there's day, just, there's just to too many, too many. Uh, uh, listen, you guys are gonna have to bear with me if it gets if it gets loud in here because I've decided to come closer to the modem uh, because it's just getting to be too crazy. All right. Uh, I, I turn, if you could turn your light on, that would be great, man, because it would bring up the quality of your camera. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Want to see the beauty? Yeah, but. Yeah. Yeah. No, man, it's just it's just crazy because it's like all of those all of those bills like you can't you can't connect uh, electronic voting machines to the Internet. You have to back up uh, uh, electronic balloting with paper ballots. Mm. Right. Yeah. You are not allowed to uh, uh, it is mandatory that you report all uh, uh, contacts or offers of assistance from foreign governments to your campaign. Mm -hmm. And all three of those bills are sitting on Mitch McConnell's desk and he will not even bring them to the floor to okay. be debated or voted. In other words, the, the election uh, is, is he's basically said that they're not going to do anything to make sure that the uh, the next presidential election is fair and free. And also, right now, Donald Trump is trying to make it, uh, uh, he's trying to make it uh, illegal for people to vote by mail. Yeah, so okay. But the military what what are you going to do with people in the military what do you uh, everybody votes by mail there mm -hmm. are a lot of people that that are not in the country and the only way for them to vote is by mail and let's you not know, forget said, but we have got coronavirus going away around now so it's actually the most sensible way to vote would be by, by mail you think a president during a pandemic would be encouraging people to vote by mail and if I just add one point, sorry, I'll then let you get back to it. The one thing that Trump is spreading now is that there's a lot of election fraud through vote, uh, people voting in by mail. But well, there literally the has been hardly any incidents. And when the incidents have actually occurred, they've actually occurred with actual Republican officials have been caught out mm -hmm. trying to use extra votes and everything like that. So no, absolutely. About his point, it's actually his own party that are actually trying to corrupt the system See, in that way. See, the issue is because because the the uh, American uh, demographic is changing, because uh, uh, the major there are more Spanish speaking people in America now than there are English speaking English. people. Okay. Um, there are more minorities, and there are more uh, people voting Democrat than ever before in history. As a matter of fact, uh, Donald Trump lost the popular vote by over 3 million votes but because he, because of the way the 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 voting districts have been gerrymandered mm -hmm. right you have you have situations where he he won electoral votes in areas where uh, uh, the the areas that are majority white have more electoral votes and more power then so they actually exactly. have literally more votes so i don't think that they would have got this there but so okay for instance right now if you're born in say a place like new york where the mm -hmm. place is heavily you know it's heavily populated your vote is one vote for one vote yeah. whereas in places like i don't know somewhere like where frankie new lives, or, sorry, I should say, where you're out in the sticks okay. your vote will actually count for as much as 60 odd votes one really vote will count as, for up to 60 odd votes so it becomes yeah it's, they they actually tamper with oh, the amount it's, that your it's, vote it's, is it's, yeah it's been, it depends on the state it de depends on which state you certain states are worth more electoral votes that's how's, why that, how's that fair it's not it's fair not. Hillary won by it, over it three million the, votes he he lost the popular vote by over three million votes okay donald trump did but because he won certain states that are that are you know states where you got a majority redneck population you know if you i mean that's <laughs> what happens votes so, so basically, it's a, it's 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 corrupt, then, man. It's, it's, it's already corrupt. Thing, the See, the thing, thing of it is, it's just by the nature of the system. Uh, the 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 system lends itself uh, uh, to corruption. Corruption. It's definitely. it's set up to be corrupted, and 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 anytime because when they set up the electoral college, it was set up with this in mind. They say the American population are not qualified to select their own leaders uh, <laughs> oh my see they, they, everybody thinks that america is a democracy it's not a democracy it's a republic okay mm. a true democracy is one man one vote they that is not the system that exists in america jesus christ man
and like I say, when you actually get the whole point, then you, what I was saying to you earlier about gerrymandering makes sense then. Yeah. When, like I say, areas are now split. So then when those areas are totaled up, imagine now Birmingham, is, is, if we use our hometown as a, an example, is broken up like a piece of pizza. But now that piece of pie or pizza, whichever now, has been selectively carved up, not in your traditional shapes, but in shapes that will mean that in, in each of those individual slices, there's more pepperoni than there is of something else. So these there's more yeah. Republicans than there is de de Democrats. So then they will win that area. They will win that area. And then as a whole, then they will win that state just by breaking up that popular vote. Because I mean, that vote, because if they actually just counted the votes in that state, one they've, got, one, they've even got, then they've, they would have lost miserably. They've got, they've got districts, they've got congressional and senatorial districts in the United States that uh, are gerrymandered to the point where you can actually, they have certain houses and certain streets that are omitted from certain districts, you know, because, oh, we know these are minorities.